Hello friends, my name is Nick, and this is a very special midnight, midweek edition of Chip Chat. Today, we are chatting about Trader Joe's reduced guilt kettle cooked potato chips. <laughs> I can hardly even say the word. I... Trader Joe's reduced guilt potato chips. Um, okay, we've got we've got a few things to unpack here. First, we're gonna open up this bag. Okay. They smell like a clean conscience. <laughs> no, they don't smell like really anything at all. That's not a, that was kind of a weird chip. Well, whatever. This is the first chip. It's very small. Very small. So, um, I've been absent for a little while. About a week um you know life's been very busy got a lot going on all good stuff you know but it's been a lot and so I normally new chip chat comes out every Friday wow look at this this is like at least four chips all in one. This is, but anyway, just to explain myself here, I take this, I don't know, weight off my shoulders or whatever. Uh, I usually, so, Chip Chat comes out on Friday on YouTube and Instagram TV. And throughout the week before each episode, I'm on Instagram and Facebook posting photos, um, usually of like the ingredients in whatever the upcoming chat is about. Um, eventually, I post the bag uh, on Thursday to show you what you know I'll be chatting about. Um, and it's not like a ton of work or anything. It doesn't take a ton of time, but it takes a little time. And right now, I'm, I usually just use the natural light coming through my windows to film. Right now, I'm doing this at night, so we've got a, my desk light actually is like pointed at me. And that's actually working out better than I thought. But, um, so there's kind of, it, it, it requires the right circumstances right to to film and everything and take the photos of ingredients and um collect the ingredients or whatever um so i usually try to do it a week in advance um so i try to film one week so that have everything together so that on the following Monday, I can start posting the photos. And then Friday, that video goes up. And during that week, while those photos are being shown to all of you, at some point during that week, I'm recording the next week's video and taking those photos, right? So I have like a little buffer. But what happened is I kind of was filming on the very last day possible for a couple weeks there. I was kind of like filming just in time to get the next week's stuff going. And it just all caught up to me. And I was crushed by the weight of the chip chat. Or something like that. So... I thought I'd try to make it up to you. 
So you are getting a special midweek edition. And you will get your normal Friday chip chat this week. And then hopefully I'll be back on a normal schedule next week. We'll see. Now, <laughs> reduced guilt. I have to say, not a fan of, like, the messaging here. It says 33% less fat than regular potato chips. I don't know if they just have less oil. Um... I mean, it's sunflower oil, but I don't know. I think oil is oil pretty much. I don't know that sunflower oil is going to be lower fat than canola or something. No, my cats are fighting. Sorry. They're not really, like, fighting, fighting, but yeah. But, yeah, I don't like the idea of... Chips town. Guys. Come on. This is also why I can't normally do this at night, because it's when the cats are being weird. You okay? Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. So yeah. I don't like the idea of chip or any product, really, or any one, suggesting that, I mean, it's essentially suggesting that other chips should be making me feel guilty and these, because they are reduced fat, should make me feel less guilt about eating them. No. I don't like that. It's not good. Now, the chips. They're actually better than I thought. I have to say. I thought they were going to be really boring. And, I mean, they're, they're just plain kettle style lightly salted um but the overall chip consistency very crunchy it's good um actually quite good um, i would say yeah i feel like if i got these these are like chips I might get at a restaurant or like a deli with a sandwich, and I'd feel okay about that. Um, now, would I like it if they had some more salt? Yeah. I would. But also, I don't... You know, like I said before, I'm not worried about feeling guilt. But yeah, honestly, better than I thought. I kind of wanted to dislike them more. The bag is also very... Um, it's a little bit... Like, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word. It's a little bit, um, I don't know. Like it, like this, this belongs in like, uh, the... Not the food aisle, but like the the 
cold remedy allergy medicine aisle like this color and font and everything yeah anyway let's look at the chip chat and see where these stack up so here we have it i'm gonna try to do a little scroll so you can see i tried to do it last time but didn't quite work Whoop. okay well hopefully excuse me hopefully you can see where we're at a little bit um yeah, let's see. Boy. You know, our list, we've done a lot of good chips. And I feel like these, as I said, they're not bad. There's nothing exciting about them. But, like, the consistency is good. And the flavor is not bad by any means. I guess it'd be hard to make it taste bad if it's just salt and oil um so if we're thinking of it in those terms like it's not good but it's not bad when we look at our list things start to get bad on our list about at the jackson's honest purple heirloom range number 14 those I wanted to like, but they had um, the coconut oil, and it made them real weird to me, even though I liked so much else about them. The Saucy Ladies also didn't just didn't taste good, and I did not like the look of the bag at all. It was weird. Um... Again, Boulder Canyon, kind of similar with that coconut oil weirdness. And then the Trader Joe's turkey and stuffing were god-awful. I'm going to be hard-pressed to find something worse, I think. Um, so, these, let's see. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, whoops. Jackson's Honest at least had style. They were purple chips. They had a nice bag. The Saucy Ladies... Mm, yeah, I would rather have these than the Saucy Ladies, because at least this is just a normal, plain chip. Like I said, you can't really mess that up. So as much as I kind of feel bad about it, do I feel guilty? No. But I feel ashamed. Which is maybe the same thing. I don't feel ashamed. I feel sad. Mm -hmm. I feel sad that I have to put these chips that I don't want to like above the Saucy Ladies Marinara and Boulder Canyon chips, which are two companies that I would like to enjoy their chips, but maybe I just didn't have the right flavors yet. We'll try again. But these reduced guilt, they go pretty low on the list, number 15, but they're not, you know, they're not bad. But like I said, they, they could use some salt. Um, but, I mean, it says it right there that they have low salt, so I guess I can't really complain about that. But I will complain about the whole concept of these chips. The name is just bad. It's just bad. Yeah. So, I'm not sorry for missing uh, last week's video. I'm not. Because this is, this is your uh, bonus episode. So thanks for watching. And I'll be back Friday with another episode. And then, like I said, next week hopefully we'll be back on track. So take care.